Alright, what is up guys? Brian here and this is my NXT TakeOver Chicago review. I am going to give a quick recap and my thoughts on tonight's NXT TakeOver Chicago. So let's get right into it. I, in, my, in my opinion, I thought that this NXT TakeOver Chicago was an absolute solid show. Uh, I just wish that I would have been able to attend it live, but watching it uh, from my friend's house was, you know, the next best thing for me. Um, since I wasn't able, I'm not able, not able to go e to either tonight's Takeo NXT Takeover or tomorrow night's Backlash. Uh, so let's get right into it. Let's get right into the recap. Uh, we opened up with Roderick Strong taking on Eric Young of Sanity. Of course, the other members of Sanity, um, with the exception of um, Nikki Cross, uh, uh, were at ringside with Eric Young. Um, and this one was an absolute uh, solid matchup, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of back and forth. Uh, a lot of good, uh, great action in this matchup. Um, in the end, it was Roderick Strong picking up the victory over Eric Young. So, uh, what you know, what's going to be next for these two? Is this the end of this feud? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, you never know with Sanity and who they're going to go after next. So, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Um, in a match that I would recommend anybody that wants to. Uh, once dead uh, has not seen takeover Chicago uh, one of the matches that I would recommend checking out is was for the WWE UK title it was Tyler Bate defending against Pete Dunne this one was an was an amazing matchup um, as I mentioned if you know if you guys have not seen takeover I would recommend checking this one out um, like I you know Tyler Bate walking in as the defending champion. You know, Pete Dunne, we know his history of doing whatever he has to do to win. Uh, but, and it proved, it. you know, he didn't cheat or anything, but uh, he did pick up the victory and become the new WWE United Kingdom champion. Uh, so big congratulations to Pete Dunne on becoming the new United Kingdom champion. Uh, defeating a very, very, a very uh, game, uh, Tyler Bate. So, uh, what's going to be next for Pete Dunne now that he's uh, he is the new United Kingdom champion? Um, how will Tyler Bate, uh, you know, what will Tyler Bate have to do next time if there is a rematch between these two? We'll have to wait and see. Um, we had. Um, a, the triple threat match for the NXT Women's Championship. It was Asuka su successfully defending her title against Ruby Riot and Nikki Cross. Uh, this one was a pretty good match. Um, uh, the uh, having them having Asuka pin both of them, both the other two competitors to win this match, I thought was pretty good. A pretty good idea. Uh, so Asuka, like I said, once again, still the NXT Women's Champion. Who is gonna have? Who is gonna step up to try to take that title from her? Uh, Ember Moon revealed that she's gonna be out uh, six months with a uh, shoulder injury. Uh, so um, she revealed that on the kickoff show. But uh, when she comes back, uh, you know she's gonna be gunning for that NXT Women's Title. Uh, there's a lot of other uh, hungry women on that on NXT right now that would love to have a shot at taking that title from Asuka, but you know only time will tell whether or not they whether or not uh, they have what it takes. Uh, moving on, um, in a surprising move, uh, Bobby Roode de uh, defended the uh, NXT Championship against Hideo Itami. Uh, this was the second to last match. Um, and this one was actually pretty good as well. Um, you know, Hideo Itami, there was a lot of questions of if he got injured, you know, what would happen. 
Uh, and you know he didn't um, he didn't show any ill effects of, of the injury that kept him out for was I believe it was over a year or almost a year um, and pretty much I mean you know he gave it his he gave a good fight to Bobby Roode uh, in the middle of the match uh, Bobby Roode went shoulder first into the ring post um, and that kind of hindered his uh, ability a little bit uh, but then Hideo Itami uh, would try to drop kick um, Bobby Roode on the outside of the ring to, uh, near the ring steps. Roode would move out of the way and Hideo Itami would connect with the ring steps, injuring his ankle. Uh, and that kind of uh, hindered his um, abilities in this match as well. Um, so, uh, but this was a really good match. Uh, Hideo Itami hit the go to sleep, but. Uh, when he hit it, Rude rolled out of the ring and onto the arena floor. Um, near the end of the match, he would try to go for it again, uh, but Rude would counter into the glorious DDT, would hang onto it, and then hit it again, uh, hitting two glorious DDTs in a row to f to score the win and retain his NXT Championship over a very a fighting uh, Hideo Itami. Um, so just like with Asuka, who's going to be next to, to step up to face Bobby Roode? You know, Atami will want another shot. There's, you know, there may be somebody else, you know, Drew McIntyre, a lot of other uh, competitors on NXT that would love a shot at that NXT title. So we'll have to wait and see in the next few weeks. Um, and of course the main event was the, for the, NXT Tag Team Titles. It was the latter match. It was the Authors of Pain defending against DIY, Tommaso Ciampa, and Johnny Gargano. This matchup was an incredible match. This one was is a match that I would recommend people checking out. If you have not seen TakeOver Chicago, I would recommend checking out this matchup because you talk about people, you know, they talk about ladder matches and how ladder ma um as far as of different ladder matches rank I think this one would be right up there uh, I mean Gargano Champa the authors of pain they really put every they really put it out there tonight uh, at takeover uh, and left it in that ring uh, you know the authors of pain they took everything Gargano and Champa threw at them uh, Gargano and Champa took everything that uh, the authors of pain would throw at them, um, you know. DIY would put their would put the authors of pain uh, through lat, you know, splash them through, uh, hit splashes on them through ladders. Uh, they would uh, a uh, Champa hit a like a German suplex to one of the members of, of of the authors of pain from the from the ladder to another ladder that was set up in the corner and it broke. I mean, it literally destroyed the ladder into pieces. Uh, authors of pain would try it would go to hit Champa with the with the ladder in the face, but Gargano would push Champa out of the way and take that shot himself. Uh, I mean, this was an incredible match. Um, but in the end, uh, Gargano and Champa tried to go tried to grab the titles, but they would get uh, grabbed by the authors of pain, who would then hit the super collider. And then another power bomb uh, to DIY, and then would proceed to climb up the ladder and retrieve their tag team titles. Um, so therefore, still the NXT tag team champions are the authors of pain. Uh, another uh, point of this matchup was uh, Paul Ellering at one point got involved, but he would uh, eat a super kick from Gargano. And that took him out for near the uh, mostly the ending of the matchup. But uh, once again, as I mentioned, the Authors of Pain are still the NXT Tag Team Champions. Uh, afterwards, another thing that I would check out if I if I were you guys that I would recommend checking out is the ending. Um, there were have there was talk on online on different wrestling websites that. Uh, Gargano and Champa were going to break up. We're going to split. 
and that is exactly what happened as Tommaso Ciampa as and uh, they would they would be going uh, they looked like they were going off the air with Gargano and Ciampa at the entrance way uh, but then Ciampa would turn on Gargano throw him throwing him into the uh, into the the, the Tron uh, and then would hit him with a knee uh, lean him up against uh, the podium where the uh, the announce the commentary booth was at give him a knee there and then would take him and put him on top of the announce table and would proceed to give him the uh, the it was like it looked like the white noise of that Seamus does he would do that onto Gargano and on uh, off from the top of the announce table to like this uh, area that's right on the other side of the announce table and the or the announce position and that would be the end for NXT TakeOver Chicago. The ending was of medical personnel, referees checking on Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa just sitting on the announce table looking down at what he had just done. Um, but overall, my thoughts on TakeOver uh, Chicago, NXT TakeOver Chicago, I thought it was, an, I thought it was a solid show once again. Um, I would recommend for anybody that has not seen ta did not watch takeover tonight it, when you get a chance uh, to check out the Tyler Bate Pete Dunn match the authors of pain versus DIY and then of course the after match afterwards with Gargano or Champa turning on Gargano so uh, but once again um, takeover I thought it was a solid show. Once again, uh, four title matches, three championships remain with their, their current holders. But we And we have a new United Kingdom champion in Pete Dunne. Uh, Bobby Roode still the NXT champion. Um, Asuka still the NXT women's champion. The Authors of Pain are, the, are still the NXT tag team champions. And the DIY is no more so uh, with that being said uh, this has been my recap of what took place tonight at NXT TakeOver Chicago as always I am Brian and thank you for watching